Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new Vex game 2020-2021, the changeup. And so I will be, in this video, I'll be covering over some few things. Um, first of all, I'm going to be going over the simple game modes. Um, um, second, um, I'm going to share some tips from experience um, in order to have a successful year. Um, steps to start. And for the third part, I'm going to be talking about scoring points and how you can score points to, you know, have a successful game day. Okay, so if you haven't seen um, the game yet, the game field, um, this is what it basically looks like. So as usual, we have two alliances, one red and one blue. Um, it's played on a 12 by 12 foot field. And on each alliance side, we have two um, teams playing. And um, this year's game is pretty different from last year, which I am kind of happy and also kind of sad about at the same time. I will describe why in a few moments later, but um, let's just get through this. So in for this game, we have to score inside the goals in order to score, and you have to you have to place a ball with your corresponding alliance color in order to score your point and whatever is left at the end of the match is the um, final score set and I will be talking about scoring later in the upcoming slides but yeah um, and um, so basically um, for autonomous as usual so you cannot cross over this middle line here um, so make sure you program within your side of the field so let's go on the next slide. So I have some general game information I would like to share. So first of all, we have um, 32 balls, uh, 16 red and 16 blue. Um, there are nine goals on the field. And as I mentioned before, during the autonomous, you wouldn't want to s score on your side of the line. If you do cross the line, then there are many possibilities that basically you could get disqualified for autonomous and basically you don't want that to happen because the other score, other teams are going to get the six bonus points, which I will be talking about later, so don't worry about it. So the third um, uh, information I have is that balls are to be scored in goals. Now this is one reason why I'm kind of sad because you don't have another thing that you can focus on. Basically, last year, if you saw last year's game, then um, we were able to score in the towers as well as the goals. Um, the side corner goals, but this year we only have one thing that we, we can kind of pay attention on um, So that's kind of why I'm kind of not happy, but it's okay um, And so we have for the fourth um, fourth um, Information I have Each ball is worth one point for corresponding alliance colors. So as I mentioned before and yeah, and so we have three goals in any row will get you six bonus points. So for example, vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. And what I mean by that is that if you score any you know, any in these three rows that like you see here, this would get you three points. Or if you see like the middle row, right? Any diagonals that come in here, here, and here, oh sorry, here, will also get you bonus points. And any verticals like for example, can't find one but if you have like this whole stack filled with red then you will get points as well um but know that your other opponents can remove that ball and place their ball corresponding alliance color um so you might want to be careful for that so yeah so as i said balls can be discord by the opposite teams at any time meaning during the driver period, technically they can't cross over the line during autonomous. And alliance with more points uh, gets the six, uh, six point um, autonomous points. The winner at the end of the autonomous will get six bonus points. So I have included some steps to have a successful year. And so I would like to share some things that I've learned from my past. And so before when newer guys are choosing your teams or your teams are given, make sure to plan out your roles accordingly. So for example, who's the programmer, who's the driver. The driver should be kind of made up prior, like one month before the competition would be a good time to practice. But you all should have roles such as programming, designing, building, and etc. 
And so for the second goal I have, oh sorry, um, step I have here is to start planning with so much ideas in mind, knowing that fa failure is okay. So basically you would want to plan as much as you can with multiple ideas, not just one. And for the last um, tip that I have is that don't start building until your group is ready. So basically, um, I know in my um, team, my coaches won't let us build until like we have a solid plan and we show them our designs. So I'm not exactly sure how it might work at your school or your place, but definitely um, it's a fact to consider that don't start to build once you have multiple ideas, not just one. And so for the last slide I have is that um, for points, and so each ball is scored in a goal. And when each point is uh, each ball is scored in a goal, you get one point for the corresponding alliance. Each connected row, you get six bonus points. Whatever is left at the end of the match, autonomous bonus, you get six bonus points. And completed home row. I'm not exactly sure what that means. During the autonomous, I think it's that you connected each row with um, one win point. Um, sorry, during the autonomous will get you one win point, I'm not sure how that exactly works. So, yeah. So, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found this video pretty helpful. And if you did, make sure to let me know in the comments below or giving this video a like. And, um, I am planning to make a series on how to have a successful robotics here. Um, if you do are interested, I'm mostly planning to make it regardless, but if you're interested in things you want to know about, then let me know in the comments below so that I can include and describe more in the upcoming videos that I am planning to make on. So thank you guys.